I'm just looking for some bait so I can use my pocket fishing kit. And a good place to look is uh, under rotten logs and uh, rocks and stuff that are in the wet ground. Got some good punk wood here, good punky wood for a natural char, but that's for another video. There's uh, no bugs or worms or nothing under here, so I'll keep looking. The big beetle there. It's, uh, I uh, could eat him if I wanted to, but um, that's going in my pocket, I'll use that for bait later. But I'll keep looking, I really want some worms. Alright guys, I've just been uh, doing a bit of foraging, hunting around for some bait so I can go fishing. I overturned this rock here, and it's a bull ant nest. And there's some mad larvae in there, wriggling around. Hopefully that focuses in. Um, so I'm going to be using that as bait, that's going to be awesome. Um, I'll collect them up and get onto that. Look at this. They're going to defend it with everything, but uh, I'm going to grab them. Not right now, but uh, I'm going to grab uh, the white juicy larvae that will wriggle around on the hook, and I'm going to use them as bait just down there in a minute. Okay, guys. I can see the um, <coughs> bow wakes and um, the water pooling where the fish are over there. So I'm just going to get my... Um, fishing gear out of the PSK that I got here and then I'm going to bait up one of those big bull ant larvae on there I'm going to go around the other side and uh, chuck it in there see how I go Just in the front section here I've got some fishing line just wrapped around a bit of cardboard That's one of my knives. That's my signal mirror. My little mini hacksaw. Razor. Little compass there. Don't need any of that. in here. I have some split shot and some small hooks. So, um, show you. Look at that We're going to catch some fish. You can see them? You can see them, can't you? Just in some duct tape here. Oh, bloody strong duct tape. I hope that doesn't put the fish off. Duct tape chemicals all over it, but just give you a close up. A couple of long shanks, different range smaller hooks, a couple of different size split shot. But that'll do just to chuck on the line and uh, bait up and throw out over there when I sneak over. So I'm just going to turn the camera off, do that now, and hopefully shoot some fishing. There's some big fish down there. I don't know if you can see them. I don't want to spook them. But um, I'm going to have to sneak down there and um, hopefully I can get one. I think I'm going to spook them, but here goes. Yeah, what is it? He knows where he's going. Good boy. Hit him. Good boy. Another pool of water here. Plenty of bugs in there, but it doesn't bother me.
uh, this is not too far away from uh, where I've camped up, so I can just keep walking back here and get this water. I don't need to uh, cut up my emergency blanket and, you know, collect some in that, tape it up and take it back for storage. Because uh, I don't have any other kind of container in my PSK. But um, if I get thirsty, I can just keep walking back here. Uh, back from fishing. The camp looking good. Started on my little reflector there. Caught no fish, but uh, that's no big deal. Um, you know, there's plenty of bush tucker that I saw. Um, if it was a real survival situation, I'd be hooking into that for sure. Especially the grass trees. Like, one grass tree, you got enough. Uh, carbs in there to last you a couple of days at least you're not going to have an empty stomach you roast that up on the fire and what are you doing <coughs> well guys I didn't get any fish so I personally I'm not having any dinner tonight I'm gonna go around actually for a forage now and specifically look for grubs um, I'll show you that if I get any I didn't catch any fish so I'm not eating but um in a real survival situation three weeks until you die of hunger anyway so not going to starve overnight and uh, if it was a real survival situation I'm happy there's plenty of um, bush tucker around um, the mat rush especially the, um, the grass trees I'll cut one of them up and that lasts me a couple of days at least you won't be hungry good source of carbs roasted on the fire nice and caramelized tastes really good but that's specifically survival situation stuff and this isn't Plenty of lizards I saw today I could have killed and eaten, but there's no need to do that. Um, but Buddy here, he deserves a feed. He's got his upright. We'll see what he's having. He's, he's hungry. He's asking for it. He's having... Where can we see that? Kangaroo fillet. Lucky devil. Thank you, mate. Kangaroo fillet. Hey. You smell it, don't you? Rub, oh. yum, yum. Yeah. Eat it. Good boy. You get it? You get it out? <laughs> Come on, Hound. Here you are. There. Bite it. Get into it. You're not going to share it, are you? <laughs> Enjoy, buddy. Alright, guys, here we got a spiky wattle. And uh, lots of seed pods on there. It's, uh, they're an excellent source of protein. Um, I'll be hooking into them for sure, but uh, they're still a bit green on the inside. Not quite ready. Probably from mid-November on. They'll be really good to go. These ones are all a bit green, but um, there's a lot of tucker just here on these uh, few um, spiky wattles. Oh, a lot of tucker. I'd um, spend a good half an hour, an hour, just get as many pods as I could, get all the seeds out and have a big feed. You could even mash them up, make um, little Johnny cakes and stuff out of them, but a lot of tucker there. Just uh, sorry. Um, just go through the uh, kit. Uh, like I said before, it's um, all the same stuff pretty much as uh, my um, PSK video, except in a new case. Um, you saw the compass, the signal mirror, the razor blade, the hacksaw blade. Um, you seen the fishing kit? Hey, hound. The uh, water filter, survival blanket, commando saw, which I didn't need to use, um, some duct tape. And we also got in the fire steel, all the cordage, a lighter. Um, 
water purification tablets. That's it. It's all it's in here. I don't anticipate needing the uh, space blanket, but if I do, this where the duct tape will come in handy. I'll duct tape it to the ridge pole here, send it back, come out under me and keep me a lot warmer. I was digging a hole here with a hardened stick um, in front of me fire pit and it, the dirt's so hard so I've got down about an inch and I'm not going to bother. You want to conserve your energy in a true survival situation and um, hard dirt like that, pff, just forget it. Alright guys, let's get me fire going now. It's um, nearly 20 past. 20 past 6 p.m. Sun's going down quick. I've only got 25 minutes left on the camera. So, I mean, I could do this the easy way and um, use me lighter. There's plenty of dead stuff around, but I've got some of this stringy bark. Um, move hound. I'll quickly uh, use this for my tinder. It's good natural tinder, this stuff. If you want to Really process it up as fine as you can. Just rub it between your fingers. Plenty of it here. It goes really, really dusty, powdery, but most of it just, uh, most of it just blows away and vanishes the stuff that would really ignite really quickly really well so just take your time get a nice refined pile okay fire still out Wind's coming in this way, so smoke the bugs out of me. Shelter. All right, that's the fire started. She's going. I'll just work on that a bit. Here's me reflector. I'll build it up pretty high. There's the hound. Hey boy. <laughs> Sitting at me shelter. Good on him. So um yeah all the uh wood that I use on the fire now I'm just gonna walk around and grab like there's plenty of dead wood and dead standings, just tons of it. And uh, I'll save that pile for it's nice and close so I can just reach around and chuck it on the fire for the night. I have to be really careful with this fire because uh it's really dry and I don't want my shelter going up. Kaboom! Um, I don't have much time left to film guys so um, I'll save it so I could, I've got some through the night. I've got about 20 minutes left now, that took 4 minutes so just one more thing. When you're out in the bush with your, with your hound dog. Come here buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Come on. When you bring your dog out with you, I want to check for ticks really thoroughly, especially this time of year. Especially small dog too, because it won't take long for paralysis tick to make him sick. Um, I've kept checking him regularly and he's all good, he can go back to bed. I'll get going on this fire and um, leave some filming for, uh, I can use the iPhone if I run out I guess for the middle of the night in the morning, but I want the phone to, uh, I want some um, 
time on the camera so that I can show you what time it is and stuff through the night. So I'll get back to you. Guys, I hope you can hear me. It's um, it's getting dark. It's getting good and dark. It's, uh, up past seven p.m. and it's toasty warm in here. I'm a bit concerned about the. Sleeping in a bonfire, sleeping in a fire hazard, but I've got good control of the fire. And, um, yeah. We'll be right, me and the hound, comfy, definitely warm, and the outside temperature's dropping quick. Plenty of wood there, throw on the fire. And, uh, I'll get back to you a bit later. It's just, um, waiting game now. I'm not going to lay in here so long as I'm not cold. I'm going to move out closer to the fire and just feed it till about 10, 11, until I get tired. And um, then I'll just come in and lay down, crash out and see you in the morning. How you going guys? Fire's humming away. You got a nice bed of coals there. I I just chuck a few. I just chucked a few sticks on the fire just now, but um, it's at the point where you just uh, grab a hefty sized stick and sit it on the coals, and when the flames die down, just put another one on the coals, and she rolls up again. I just put about three on just now. Um, I'm laying here in the shelter. I'm not right, right back in it. It's too hot. Um, all the way back in there. But um, <laughs> the hound's loving it. He just woke up. It's uh, 10 o'clock. And um, it's probably going to be the, hopefully, unless I have a rough night. The last time I speak to you until the morning when I throw me PSK over me neck and walk on out. So we're pretty bored. Sitting here in the dark. Well with the fire. It's quiet. You can hear the water lapping up on the shoreline down there. You can hear the possums or kangaroos bouncing around behind me. Um, <laughs> it's freaking the dog out. He wants to um, run off into the darkness and see whatever it is, catch whatever it is. But um, yeah, I'm going to nest myself right back in the uh, bedding that I've put in here soon and snuggle up to the puppy and hopefully we get a good night's sleep. Um, I won't keep doing this every hour if I'm not asleep, if I haven't fallen asleep, I'm not going to give you hourly updates, but, um, certainly get back to you at five, six o'clock, whenever it is that I wake up and hike out, and hopefully it's a lovely morning, so, all good. sleep for about from about 11 to 12 30 and I just the fire was running real low I don't think you can see anything but um I let the fire die right down so I could hear 
all noises. There's something right behind my shoulder growling at me. And it's been growling at me for a couple of hours. I'm pretty sure it's a possum. But I was just lying here just now. And this screaming, screeching, screaming sound just came flying towards me really fast. And I thought, what the hell is that? I was getting louder and louder and louder. And then it's just gone thump, thump, thump straight past me. And I could just make out the silhouette. It was a massive owl. Let's just swoop down and grab something from way over there. I don't know what, but it wasn't happy. I'm going to get the fire back up and there's that thing growling at me. Well guys, the kookaburras are awake. The hound's up. Hey boy. And it's uh, half past five. Man, I don't think you can see much. Um, I slept from probably 2.45 to now, to 5.30. So, that's pretty good. So I got, I don't know, I reckon I got at least three and a half hours sleep all night. Um, I don't know what you can see. Yeah, the sun's slowly coming up. Um, can you just see the water? Um, I'm really hungry, so I was going to sit here and start the fire up um, for a little while until it was a bit lighter. But um, I can see perfectly well. I don't think the camera's doing any justice. Like I can see well enough to hike out, so I might just get going. Um, you can hear the kookaburras. I love that sound in the morning. Um, as far as the night goes, man, I was pretty warm. Um, especially while the fire was on, even if it was just the coals just glowing a little. Um, it was warm as toast, really. Um, dog kept my legs warm. I was wearing shorts, so... Uh, this provides any light. Oh. Uh, heaps of wood left because when I fell asleep, obviously I was asleep, I didn't need it. The cold didn't wake me up, and if it did, I just threw a stick on and... So scratching, and we were warm again, so that's about it boys, it's 5.30, we're just about, we're just about hiked out, it's uh, nearly 6 o'clock, I'm sure the camera can see by now, um, me and the hound, we're off to Macca's, I'm going to get a Sausage and bacon McMuffin and a big fat coffee. Um, but um, run our way out. The sun's coming up good now and I'll just show you a beautiful sight to sign off with. The birds are singing. Uh, just got to walk all the way around. Over to them lights and we're done. Come here, hand. That's where we were. Around that point. Back in there. Around that mountain to the point. And up around there, about 15 minute walk. Beautiful bay. You can see the fish in the water moving around nice and early. Schooling there. Jeez, if I had a fishing rod. The hound's up ahead, so 
We gotta go. Mac is waiting. Bye bye.